goals. Let's talk about the play that turned the game around, drawing the penalty on Shane Goss' pair there. What did you do to get his ire up? Uh, you know, we've been preaching all year, just kind of trying to beat guys in the net and crash the net. And uh, I kind of had him beat, and then he just hauled me down. So he just kind of coached preaching to us every practice to get to the net. There was an offensive zone penalty, though. I mean, that was the, he, slashed, he, he slashed a stick out of your hand. What, do you remember? Uh, I thought he did trip me there. Did he trip me? That's what yeah. that? You know, actually, you slid, I think you slid a stick out of his hand. He got, he, you, he showed you in the back. Oh, oh yeah, that was earlier yeah, on. Yeah, the first period. Yeah, I was just trying to get under their skin a little. I know they have uh, some really good D back there, so trying to wear them down early, and it kind of must have got to them a little bit. Talk about the short-handed goal. I mean, your guys are down 2 nothing. So you guys started taking momentum a little bit uh, after, the, after the penalty. You guys took momentum. How important was that uh, short-handed goal to get you guys within one at the end of the period? I mean, it was good to get a goal at the end of the period to get us going. I was just kind of skating down, and Spiro Glockis did a good job to jump into the rush and uh, just try to get it on net, and good things happened. So. Coach, uh, you're down 2 nothing early, freshman goalie. How important was it to kind of settle things down at that point? Because I think mean, Ken's right, the game kind of turned after that. Yeah, it was a great, it's, it's a good question. Because we, we talked about it on the bench, we were a little bit concerned. Um, you know, we know he's a great goaltender, but it's it's tough on the road. And he, like you say, you get down a couple like that, you just never know what's going through his mind. But he's proven, you know, in junior hockey that he can set those aside pretty quickly. He's very uh, strong mentally. So uh, we talked about it in between the first period, and we, we felt he had to work his way through it, and he sure did. You guys held Union to a season low with 21 shots on goal. What did you do to, to do that? Because this is a team that's been you know, getting 40 consistently. And we have a lot of respect for this team, this Union team, and we spent a lot of time in practice this week uh, preaching hard play in our own zone, getting sticks, and knowing that they're never going to give up or quit on a shot. So we did a lot of stuff in tight around the net, Ken. Uh, you know, second and third pucks, that kind of thing, looking for sticks. They come so hard, and uh, I think the message to our guys is, you know, and we're young, you know, that tonight is a perfect example of how hard you have to play to win in this league. And uh, we've got a lot of exhausted guys in our locker room, but that's a great feeling. Tarsi, talk about the, the game time goal there. You made, you made it 3-3. Three, three. It's kind of a strange play. Uh, I don't know who was going wide there, and then what happened at this? Was the puck loose there? Yeah, Joey Wilson kind of just went behind the net there. He's I was playing with him a lot uh, this year, so I kind of started getting to know his tendencies, and uh, he likes going behind the net and throwing it out front, so I just try to get to the right spot. Just seem to go in. Great. Thanks, guys.